Hello everybody, this is my third time trying to record because first time my mom called me halfway through and then the second time I forgot the music. So it'd be like that sometimes. But this is a Sarah X mute listener. I'm doing this really quickly because I have kettle oil today, which is a really hard workout. It hurts, yeah. And my friend's sleeping over right afterwards, so I'm not gonna have time to make another video for tomorrow, most likely, and I need to get this done really quickly, so that way I can do homework before I have to leave. So, let's get to it. I'd like to introduce you all to Wyan Ellen, as Zawa said, in his usual monotone voice. You bowed your head forward slightly before he continued. They're a new transfer student from Shikitsu High, so be civil. Wyan, there's an empty seat next to Midoriya if you'd like to sit down, or you can write down a few words if you want. You nodded quickly, placing your backpack on the floor. You pulled out a medium-sized dry erase board and a black marker and wrote down a few quick words. Hello, it's nice, to, it's nice to meet you all. I can't talk, but I can write really fast. I hope I'll be a good addition to your class. You gave a class 1A a winning smile, and Midoriya raised his hand. Your eyes trailed over to the green-haired boy, and he signed hello to you. Your face grew warm because of his effort, but you quickly pointed to your ears. Ah, you can hear them, Kaminari asked, and you nodded with a smile. Cool. Welcome to our welcome to our class, Wyan. Ida said. Your smile just grew even wider. You went to sit down, not noticing a certain cheery boy's attention directed towards you. Aizawa's class went by smoothly, and you honestly hadn't expected a reclusive hero like him to be such an inspiring teacher. Yue really was on another level. You especially enjoyed the other classes too especially present Mike's English class because he seemed like he really tried hard and you appreciated that. You were also really glad that you all moved in a group. It just made the whole transition a lot easier and your classmates were so nice. A cheerful brown-haired girl, Uraraka, already wanted to train, nu train numbers with you and the serious class president, Ida, vowed to give you a tour of the entire school. Midoriya also talked to you a lot, and he seemed very interested in what your quirk was. He even had a notebook and everything. A real fanboy, huh? You thought to yourself. The official school day was over, though, so you excused yourself because you wanted to explore the school alone. They waved goodbye and went on their separate way while you distracted yourself with the immense hallways of UI High. You were fine with getting a toy from Ida, but there was just something calming about being in a new place when you were alone. Hey, Wyan, how was your first day? A quiet voice asked, prompting you to turn around. It was one of your classmates who had a cool look who had cool looking arms and straight black hair. You smiled and took out your erase board from your backpack. It was really fun and cool. You all were so great. I hope I can live up to your standards. We don't have too many standards, to be honest. I'm glad you transferred to, your, to our, our class, though, because we do have a bit of a reputation. Reputation? Yeah, like the whole USJ thing, Sarah started to say, and you waved your hands around wildly like Ida had done when he was talking to you. Quickly, you erased your words on your board. I heard about that on the news. It must have been so scary, but you all are really cool. That's why I was so intimidated by you guys. Aw, oh, jeez. We're not that cool, Sarah said, rubbing the back of his neck. Actually, no. We are kind of cool. You smiled, hiding your mouth behind your hands bashfully. Sarah's black eyes gazed at you for a moment before he cracked a wide grin. Don't hide your smile, Wyan. It's beautiful. His kind words rang through your ears like a lightning bolt, and your face erupted into an uncontrollable blush. Sarah averted his eyes from you, still grinning widely, but with a fiery red hue on his cheeks. You pressed a shaking marker to your to your board and wrote your feelings. Uh... What? I know 
I know you must think I'm weird for just saying that, Sarah said, his voice trailing off. We erased your words hurriedly and wrote down your reply. No, you're awesome. I'm weird. I don't get compliments like that. Thank you. Well, I don't think you're, you're weird. Well, you might be. I don't know. I just know that I want to get to know you more. Let's be friends, Sarah said, his face growing even more red. You smiled at him, wiping your board with your shirt sleeve. Sure. Cool. It might have been an awkward first meeting for you two, but it soon blossomed into a great and close friendship. Sarah was a surprisingly good artist, and he took it upon himself to draw silly things on your board when you weren't looking. Today was a picture of an extremely angry Bakugo who had been shrunken down into a tiny, into a little boy with a huge head. Tiny sparks shot out from his chubby hands, and you tried to conceal your soft laughter at the image. Sarah never failed to impress you. You erased your tr the drawing, not wanting Bakugo to see it, and wrote down your thanks to Sarah. He peered over his shoulder and gave you a bright smile. Class started like normal, and before you knew it, it was already lunchtime. You took out your lunchbox from your from your backpack and stood up from your seat, deciding what you should eat. Deciding that you should eat lunch in the cafeteria. Hey, Ryan, do you want to walk together? Sarah asked you as he got up from his desk and put, and walked over to you. You nodded. Quickly, your eyes not failing to catch the way Kaminari, Kirishima, and Ashido snickered at Sarah from their seats. Sarah blushed darkly at their laughter, and you became more confused by the second. Well, let's just go, Sarah said, and you nodded your head. You carried your board in your arms and wrote down a few questions while you two walked to the cafeteria. Why were they laughing? Is something wrong? thought, no, nothing's wrong, it's just I told them something because I trust them, Sarah said, pulling at the collar of his uniform nervously. Your curiosity got the better of you, and you wrote down some more questions. Can you tell me, can you tell me, is it an embarrassing story? It's not, it's not embarrassing by it, I'm not embarrassed by it, it's just difficult because it has to do with us, I don't want things to change, but I also do. What? I love being friends, Ryan. You're amazing, but I need to know... But I need you to know that I have a crush on you. I have for a while, and I just want to know if you feel the same way. So blurted out. I, I want to be yours, Ryan, if you'll have me. Your eyes widened, and your arms went slack. Your board and marker dropped to the floor in a loud clatter. You moved your lips and your hands, completely taken off guard. Sarah leaned down and picked up your board and marker, handing them to you. You stilled your body before writing down some coherent, some coherent but messy words. I feel so dumb for not noticing and making, and making things awkward for you. I like you too. I like you though, so... You ran a hand through your hair, unsure of what else to write. Sarah peered over you and read your board, his dark eyes glazing over. Ryan, he muttered before he, his lean arms wrapped around your waist firmly, but the soft tenderness that came with being new to something. His slightly chapped lips found yours, and his body became flushed with yours for a short, wonderful moment. You pulled away first for air, your mind reeling at what you two just did. Sarah held you in his arms, and you two just gazed at each other for what seemed like forever. Ryan, I'll take that as a yes to me being yours, right? He asked with a wink. You smiled back at him and nodded your head. Getting lost in his beautiful black eyes, he grinned kissing the top of your forehead quickly before reaching down to clutch your hand. Well then, let's go have lunch, he said cheerfully as he began to lead you with his hand. Your heart beat rapidly in your chest, and for the first time in a long time, you felt totally complete. Aww. Okay, that was so cute. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you.
thank you all for listening. I'll see you all next time. Thank you. Goodbye, my lovely.